The online assessment cluster covers four units of competency. Planning assessment, developing assessments, conducting assessments and validating those assessments. The tasks are grouped together to help you step through the process efficiently whilst gaining the necessary skills and knowledge to plan, develop, conduct and validate assessment systems. Step 1 is to read through chapters 9, 10 and 11 of your textbook, taking notes of key words, information and examples to build your knowledge of this subject. Step 2 is to familiarise yourself with the online videos that are designed to provide you with information and step-by-step -step assistance with some of the tasks. Step 3 is starting the knowledge test. You can pause and go back at any time until it is completed. After completing steps 1 and 2, you should have gained the knowledge required to complete this assessment. If you're completing the assessment online or via the Zoom workshops, you'll be completing all eight assessment tasks. If you're attending the face-to-face -face in class sessions, then you'll be completing the first three assessment tasks and RPL tasks four and five. Step four is to open the first assessment task that is designed for your specific enrollment choice. Read the instructions carefully and follow them by accessing the templates and documents listed in each task. Step 5. If you are enrolled in the online course, you may be able to complete the assessment tasks by organising with your assessor to attend a SPEC training Zoom session or face-to-face -face session. There are additional fees for attending these sessions, so please inquire before starting your practical assessments if you intend to make use of this option. Step 6 is to complete all the assignments that are aligned with your particular enrolment type and submitting them one by one to your assessor. At the end of this cluster, you will have demonstrated your ability to plan, develop, conduct and validate assessments in a vocational training context. As this is your last cluster, you will have now completed all the necessary components of your Certificate 4.